Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into Adult Daughters of Narcissistic Mothers by Stephanie M. Kreisberg. Published in 2022, this profound work sheds light on the challenging dynamics between daughters and their narcissistic mothers. Through expert insights, Kreisberg, a licensed clinical psychologist with over 25 years of experience, provides a navigational toolkit for managing the harrowing journey of emotional healing. This book is a beacon for adult daughters ensnared in the toxic grasp of narcissistic parenting, offering strategies to address and overcome the deep-seated feelings of self-doubt, shame, and anxiety inherited from such a relationship. Kreisberg's guidance empowers readers to reclaim their lives and embark on a path toward personal autonomy and happiness. Who should immerse themselves in the pages of Adult Daughters of Narcissistic Mothers? This book resonates with individuals who have endured the controlling, manipulative, or domineering traits of a narcissistic mother. It speaks to those who have battled with anxiety and feelings of insecurity from a young age, as well as anyone who has felt fundamentally flawed since childhood. Stephanie M. Kreisberg extends a lifeline to readers, offering them the chance to understand their past and forge a brighter, self-determined future. Adult daughters of narcissistic mothers, quiet the critical voice in your head, heal self-doubt, and live the life you deserve. Introduction Unlocking freedom from a narcissist's shadow. Begin your journey to heal. Growing up under the shadow of a narcissistic mother, one is often led to believe they're never enough. From the tender age of childhood, these individuals are instilled with a deep seated sense of inadequacy, a feeling that, despite their best efforts, they just can't measure up to their mother's expectations. This sense of never being good enough doesn't just vanish with age. Instead, It morphs into a constant companion in adulthood, sabotaging one's happiness, confidence, and sense of empowerment. Yet, despite this heavy burden, there's a beacon of hope, a path towards liberation from this toxic grip. Today, we dive deep into understanding narcissism's true essence, exploring its profound emotional consequences on adult lives, and more importantly, unveiling practical strategies to embark on a healing journey. Let's shed light on methods to sever those ties that bind you, paving the way for a future where you can truly thrive. Part 1. Unveiling the Roots of Narcissism. It's not about you. Discovering that your mother is a narcissist often triggers a whirlwind of emotions and questions. Chief among these is the nagging doubt that perhaps you are the problem. This lingering thought haunts many, suggesting that if only they were more, more accomplished, more thoughtful, more everything, they could finally mend the rift and cultivate the warm, loving relationship they've always yearned for with their mother. However, embarking on a path towards a healthier and more fulfilling life demands confronting a pivotal truth. You are not the reason your mother acts the way she does. Narcissism, Characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance and a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, isn't spawned by the actions or existence of her children, adult or otherwise. Acknowledging this is often challenging, especially after years of subtle and not-so-subtle messages from your mother implying the contrary. A deeper understanding of narcissism helps illuminate this intricate dynamic. Originating from the Greek myth of Narcissus, who was consumed with his reflection, narcissism is more than mere self-absorption. At its core lies a profound pathological insecurity, a cocktail of upbringing, genetics, temperament, and societal influences. Consider the narcissistic mother who dominates every conversation or the one who guilt trips you into being at her beck and call. These behaviors aren't random, but are driven by an underlying desperate fear of not being enough. Unlike the average person's self-doubt, a narcissist's insecurity is shadowed by a stark absence of self-awareness and empathy. 
caught in the cycle of bolstering their self-esteem at any cost, they remain oblivious to the emotional toll their actions inflict on others. Their primary concern is to mask their vulnerabilities, driven by an intense dread of facing them. Accepting that you cannot change your mother, no matter how fervently you wish to, is a critical step. This realization, albeit painful, frees you to focus on strategies that help manage your relationship with her more effectively, diminishing its negative impact on your life. In the following discussions, we delve into how the conduct of narcissistic parents shapes the emotional landscape of their children, paving the way for healing and growth. Part 2. The Echo of Anxiety, Confronting the Critical Inner Voice Imagine Lauren, whose childhood dream of molding young minds as an elementary school teacher was overshadowed by her mother's prestigious career in science. Guided by her mother's disdain for lesser professions, Lauren finds herself trapped in a laboratory, her dreams collecting dust. Meanwhile, an unrelenting inner critic berates her for not finding fulfillment in a path she never chose, exacerbating her feeling of being fundamentally flawed for not replicating her mother's success or mending their strained relationship. This scenario is all too familiar for those raised by narcissistic mothers, characterized by a relentless internal monologue that scrutinizes every decision, berates over past actions, and frets incessantly about the future. This phenomenon known as repetitive negative thinking, RNT, not only sows seeds of anxiety and depression, but also hampers memory and weakens the immune system. RNT is a hallmark of the childhood dominated by a narcissistic parent. Growing up, you learn to anticipate and adapt to your mother's reactions to avoid pain and criticism. Whether she hogged the limelight or manipulated with her neediness, you were compelled to retreat into the recesses of your mind, constantly second-guessing yourself. Many children of narcissists mistakenly attribute their propensity for worry to a personal failing. Yet the critical voice that haunts them isn't truly theirs. It's an echo of their mother's judgments that has overshadowed their own, making every thought and decision feel like a battlefield. But how does one silence this pervasive critic? The task isn't to eliminate this voice, a feat as futile as trying to vanish your mother from your life, but to diminish its influence over you. A practical strategy involves recognizing this voice as distinct from your own. Take Lauren's approach. She personified her inner critic as Aunt Marge, likening it to the unfavorable character from Harry Potter. Whenever Aunt Marge made an appearance, Lauren didn't try to silence her outright. Instead, she visualized lowering her volume, relegating her to the background, thereby allowing her own, authentic voice to emerge. By assigning it a name and treating it as an external presence, Lauren could detach from the negativity, fostering a space for her true self to flourish. This technique of distancing oneself from the inner critic proves to be a powerful tool in regaining control over one's mind and life, ultimately creating a pathway to healing and self-acceptance. Part 3. Navigating the Labyrinth of Shame. Understanding Your True Worth. Alison, an accomplished journalist, recently triumphed with an award for her riveting expose on local river pollution. Yet, as she left the ceremony, her pride was quickly overshadowed by shame, triggered by a simple question about her scientific expertise. This spiraled into a tormenting belief that she was a fraud, unworthy of her accolades. Shame is an insidious feeling, convincing you that you are intrinsically defective. Those raised by narcissistic parents know this sentiment all too well. It's the persistent gnawing notion that you're undeserving of any goodness that life offers, including acceptance and belonging. Shame has a tenacity that can last a lifetime, primarily because it imprints on the emotional memory so vividly that logical processing becomes an afterthought. In Alison's moment of vulnerability, her shame wasn't just about the question posed. It was a resurgence of childhood trauma, where her desires and achievements were belittled by her narcissistic mother. The emotional scars from narcissistic parenting 
much like repetitive negative thinking, can't simply be switched off. However, there are strategies to manage shame more effectively, allowing for a healthier emotional adjustment. Firstly, recognizing shame is pivotal. Understanding how it manifests in your thoughts and physical responses lays the foundation for addressing it. This introspection can be deeply uncomfortable, but is crucial for healing. Next, reconnecting with your values serves as a potent antidote to shame's corrosive narrative. Shame thrives on feelings of worthlessness, steering you away from what truly matters to you. By identifying and embracing your core values, you reaffirm your worth and navigate away from shame's stifling grip. For Allison, acknowledging her passion for environmental advocacy and the joy of celebrating successes with friends helped mitigate her feelings of shame, reinforcing her commitment to her cause. Lastly, reframing your perspective on shame involves looking back at your life's narrative to pinpoint moments likely influenced by your narcissistic parent. Recognizing that their hurtful actions and words were manifestations of their disorder, not reflections of your worth, can be liberating. It's important to understand that a narcissist's worldview is not universal. Their insecurities dictate their behavior, not your essence. By following these steps, you can start to untangle the deep-rooted shame instilled by a narcissistic parent, allowing you to embrace your true self, unmarred by the unfounded beliefs of unworthiness. Part 4. Reclaiming Power. The Journey from Vulnerability to Empowerment. The tale of Janice, whose personal space and secrets were relentlessly invaded by her narcissistic mother, paints a vivid picture of the helplessness felt by those raised in such environments. Similarly, Brittany's story, where her own emotions and experiences were overshadowed by her mother's complaints and manipulations, further illustrates the profound sense of powerlessness that children of narcissistic parents often endure. These narratives aren't unique but echo the experiences of many who grew up feeling marginalized and disregarded within their own homes. Reflecting on personal instances where your autonomy was undermined or ignored by a narcissistic mother can be enlightening, revealing patterns of feeling overwhelmed or disrespected that might still persist in adulthood. The lingering effects of a childhood dominated by narcissism can manifest in various aspects of adult life, from struggling to assert no in simple neighborly requests, to enduring disrespect in professional settings, or remaining entangled in unhealthy relationships. These situations mirror the sense of powerlessness experienced in childhood, reinforcing a cycle where one's needs and voice seem perpetually sidelined. Narcissistic mothers often instill in their children the belief that they lack autonomy and rights. Concepts of privacy, personal emotions, and the ability to dissent are painted as privileges rather than inherent aspects of individuality. Additionally, these children are burdened with the unreasonable responsibility of catering to their mother's happiness, further eroding their sense of self. The path to breaking free from this cycle involves understanding and setting healthy boundaries, a task that may seem daunting due to a lifetime of criticism and invalidation. Establishing boundaries requires knowing one's own mind and emotions, valuing these inner experiences, and being prepared to act upon them, even in the face of opposition. For those who grew up under the shadow of a narcissistic parent, acknowledging and trusting their feelings and thoughts can be challenging. Yet, Learning to set boundaries is a critical skill that can be acquired and strengthened over time, transforming feelings of vulnerability into empowerment. Initiating this transformation can begin with small, manageable steps. Identifying an area of life where you seek more control and respect, such as fostering relationships or pursuing personal interests, allows you to focus your efforts on asserting boundaries in meaningful ways. For instance, choosing to disconnect from work communications to prioritize time with friends is a practical application of setting boundaries that honor your values and needs. As you gradually become more accustomed to the discomfort of asserting your boundaries, the initial overwhelm will lessen, making way for a life that resonates more closely with your desires and values. Despite the persistence of uncomfortable feelings, 
gaining confidence in your ability to navigate and establish boundaries, promises a future where empowerment eclipses vulnerability, allowing you to live authentically and within the full embrace of your worth. Final summary. Realizing that you are not to blame for your mother's narcissistic tendencies is a monumental step, one that heralds the start of an imperative healing journey. It's a journey that ventures far from the destructive reach of your mother's influence, towards a life where her narcissism ceases to dictate your self-esteem and choices. This path is marked with milestones of growing self-assurance as you start listening to and valuing your own thoughts and feelings, rather than being swayed by the critical voice that often dominates your inner dialogue. With each step forward, the false belief of inherent flaw within you begins to dissolve, replaced by a deep-seated recognition of your innate worth. As you navigate this journey, remember that you are not alone. Countless others have walked similar paths, each finding their way out from under the shadow of a narcissistic parent. And just like them, you possess an intrinsic value that remains untarnished by your past experiences. Embracing your worth is not just about moving away from your mother's narcissistic impacts. It's about moving towards a future where you live authentically, guided by your own voice and truth. In this new chapter of your life, you are free to define yourself, not by the scars of the past, but by the strengths, values, and dreams that are uniquely yours. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.